everybody, welcome to the latest World of ZZT livestream. Tonight, we're jumping back where we left off two weeks ago with Lancer X's incredible for Elise. Uh, if you don't remember what happened two weeks ago, well, same here, really. So we're going to watch the title screen and the story real quick again before I resume my save and we get back into dungeon diving, as it were. So once more, this is for Elise. It is a very complicated game. With a very simple introduction. The year is 2050 AD. Politics, culture, the economy, and the environment have all continued to decline, and a sense of impending doom hangs thick in the atmosphere. One day, while at a crossroads in your life, you took a wrong turn while walking home, there was a sense of walking for horribly long hours before your memory was interrupted, and you found yourself waking up on a rock-strewn floor. It felt as though a very long time had passed since you were last cognizant. There's a heck of a lot of documentation. Oh, I also... <clears throat> I changed the HUD slightly. As you can see, our A is our attack stat, our, the D is our defense, the X is our experience, because it doesn't quite line up with the sidebar how I have my custom HUD. Uh, you get a game that's turn-based, you find items in dungeons, spells... don't have a weapon, so I'm not going to demonstrate that. But there we go, see our attack is 5 now. Now we can beat up a snake by touching the snake. Or we could beat up gnomes. And that's for release, everybody. Let's get back to where we were. Which I'm assuming was the save three, I hope. We get this looping music once more, which manages to roughly carry between boards. So let's see, we are level 5. We got three spells. Some magic shops. So these here are the spells that we've currently got. Let's reset and go through everything here. There's the heal spell, that sounds good. Harm. Slow. We can only carry three spells at a time. And fire. So let's see here. This game has a lot of spells. Heal. Harm's 100 damage to everything we're aligned with. Okay, fire is the, the good one. So I'm going to go with heal and fire. I'm going to leave a third one blank just in case we find another spell. Well, we can also buy spells. I don't remember what a lot of them are. What is safe? I think safe is just a protection spell. Increases defense by 40. That could be useful. Town warps you to town. I think that's a sucker's game. Kill. Stop. Pow. Open. Hero. Very expensive prices. We also see our equipment. Well. 
can't see our current equipment, we can see our next equipment, which is a great sword. Or a kite shield. This here is the antique shop, pawn shop. <clears throat> we'll find artifacts and we'll sell them. And this is the inn where we heal. And this is our quest board. Ooh, we have a new quest available since we left off. Minotaur Subjugation on dungeon level 12. I'm gonna say no to that quest. I don't recall. Oh, hey, this guy got in my way and I couldn't exit the board. Okay. So we're on to floor 8 here. I think 8 or 9 is as deep as we've gone. We got our first little fast travel point. And... It's been... It's been long enough that I don't remember what I'm capable of fighting, so I may just get destroyed a bit here. Okay, so I can take these guys on, but it's a bit of a slog at this point still. Yeah, I wanted to make the HUD slightly readable. Okay, well, Camelot's down. Don't think I realized they had like two health left. Uh, let's just start some fresh saves. Okay, no, this is definitely new. It's the Maelstrom. So this looks frightening. Always want to have the monsters attack me first, if at all possible. Or not attack me first. I want the exact opposite of that to happen. I want them to walk into me. They won't cooperate. All right, let's see what we're up against here. I, the Rasalka. I don't know what that is. They also have a decent chunk of health. Uh, the damage formulas are just my attack minus their defense, and vice versa for how much damage I take. So a lot of this game is getting to points where you can just be enemies without being hit at all. So let's run away and try some of our fire. And if we're lucky... Okay, so that, didn't, that only killed the one I was fighting, but the rest are all going to be really weak. Ah, so they're sirens. Okay. And as long as I can get the first attack, I can just finish them all off, no problem. This here is going to be an artifact. You can take that back to town and sell it. Story-wise, we don't really have any ultimate goal other than get to the bottom of the dungeon. There's quests, but the quests are just their own thing. There's no greater overarching story. At least not yet. We're only like a third of the way through, apparently. Come on. Okay. There's a door with another artifact and a magic spell, but can't get that. And the giant manual also mentions things like there's not enough keys 
to open everything or money to buy everything in the game. So there is some replay value in that you really get to pick and choose what items you're going to actually be using. So what do I get over here? They're definitely not sharks because they're not moving. But I'm not seeing a path forward or am I just missing it? Yeah, there, there could be some item. Okay, I need to do something before I go to Chris. Well, I know I got some... Oh yeah, also the enemies will sometimes respawn. So you can see this jerk is back. Um, I know the game is kind of balanced around the fact that you have to move each turn, but I'm curious now if it would have been possible to make it so pressing the space bar and shooting with like a player clone would have made you idle in place without having to touch a wall. Because that's like my only complaint is that I don't want to fight these fights. Ugh. My spell thoughts, I don't know if I should just nuke them. Or run away. Yeah, I'm gonna die if I fight him. Let's. What are the specifics on the heal spell? Restores 100 points. You can't exceed my max capacity. I don't even remember what that is. Uh, let's bring up the handy chart. Okay, so I can have a lot more than 100 health. Oh, we we discussed this in the Discord. You can you make sh well. I guess the player has to have ammo in this case because it's being used for things. Never mind. I guess all your fakes will be ruined. Let me just type plus idle. That would be a lot of fun. Okay. Well. I think I can take them on. Let me, uh, let's do the math here. Oh wow, maybe not. I didn't realize I was like just barely capable of hurting this thing. Alright, alright. There we go. Pretend I'm good at video games now. So let's go back to town and heal up. Prices keep going up as we level, and we did just level up because we had a lot of points. So that's plenty more health at least, and some slight stat boosts. So let's see what those other quests are. Oh, well, uh, I have a hunch that this would be a good quest to take. Visible Stalker, ugh. Okay. So, quest confirms. Oh, yes, that's right, we do have an artifact. So we can get some cash. Got some money. Hey, yeah, you're right. This game is busted and broken. I do need more defense. 30. And I 
don't know what my current shield is giving me defense-wise, but... It's 60. Yeah, I can still afford to heal, I think. Okay, let's buy this shield. And let's see what the next one is. Magic shield! might also be nice if these spells told you what they were when you stood next to them. So I want heal, don't want harm, want fire. See, and I have, like, that defense boosting, or no, 90 gold. Why not? Let's buy it. So I want heal, safe, and fire. Let's take the long way. We'll take the scenic route for anybody who wasn't here last time. So this is the forest trail. Everything's dead right now. And there's an artifact if we're willing to use a key on it. This underground lake here. Lots of bubbles. Sunless sea. Oop. Everything respawned. Also, wait, did I just not pick up that spell last time? I can't pick it up now because I have all three slots filled, but... I should definitely at least collect that. Sorry, we're walking back to town. Uh, I refuse to spend money on the town spell. Alright, I hope I get something good. Yeah, that... The music actually resuming is like this really cool effect. It's actually like setting and clearing a flag constantly as it progresses through the music and trying to roughly resume right where it left off. And I took the shortcut instead of the regular way. Well, I th think this is... I should've just gone through the up on um, that floor and not directly to town, but whatever. This is what happens when you don't play an RPG for two weeks. You kinda don't remember anything. Now, I do remember, though, that last time that I was definitely at a point where enemies in this watery area were pretty tough. But let's see, we've leveled up, we bought some new stuff. Okay, yeah, we got the, we got the defense for it. So that's good. And let's see what we got here. Beam! What's, what's beam? I think beam is just better harm. So harm is 100 points of anything that I'm lined up with. And beam. Piercing beams of light deal 100 points of damage to enemies either vertically or horizontally aligned with the caster, irrespective of any obstacles between the caster and those enemies. So how much was harm? Uh... Oh! Okay, harm is for things that are directly next to you. Beam is for anything I'm lined up with, yeah. And it will go through walls, because ZZT does not know how to deal with that. 
That's good, because I definitely tried to, like, manage to pull off harm on multiple enemies at once last stream, and it just would not happen. Beam is still worse than fire, though. It's kind of... Yeah. This fire is just straight up 100 damage. So what's our next powerful spell that I want? I want okay, so Acid would be the next level. Followed by Bomb. As you can see, there's a lot of spells. Like Hell and Pow and Open. I really want to get the Open spell. And Holy and Hero and Nuke. These wonderful illustrations. Okay, yeah. This is indeed free XP at this point. Which is good. It is possible to just keep grinding for experience, but that does mean that it costs longer. Or, it, ca it costs more to stay at the end. And the gold is limited. So I don't want to grind too much. Hmm. Mysterious. Wow, look at this. Oh, that's really cute. It's the wood piles getting smaller. Ah, okay. I was about to say, now if only there was any danger, but apparently there are sharks that are going to bite me. Ooh, and we have to pass them. Let's see. Attack 60. Oh, they're not so bad. They don't move either, which also helps. Defense 35. Oh yeah, I can I can take on these sharks no problem. I'd rather get them out of the way because I have a feeling I'm going to be crossing these paths a lot. And in fact, I'm going to kill this one just so I don't end up in like a horrible situation where trying to walk back to town gets me killed because I have to pass this point. Dang it. I thought it was already on the verge of death. Yeah, I do have to say it's also sort of swinging between attack and defense was what's more important. Early on, it was very much possible to just keep buying better swords and one-shot things. But now I'm definitely starting to see a need for defense. Alright, this is sufficiently scary. A dark cave. Let's very carefully see what we're up against. I have a feeling that these are going to be the stronger enemies. Uh, it's only going to have the invisible stalker if I take that quest. The quest stuff only spawns once it's been accepted. So we are safe. Well, un unless we get choked to death by a skeleton. Oh, but I'm definitely I'm tougher than any old skeleton. What's our other enemy here? Oh yeah, I need to turn in that quest too, but I guess that doesn't matter. I don't need to turn around just yet. Okay, we got skeletons, and I'm going to guess a troll. It is a panther. Wow. Good guess. Panther. 6055. Okay, so panthers are 
Oh, unable to hurt us. So even though I can barely hurt it. Nice. Leave these skeletons for now, because they're easy to get around. Okay, now it's now it's looking like a proper dungeon, and it is getting darker into the black. Okay, we got we got a red thing. All these enemies are very avoidable. I can't decide if I should take advantage of that or not. Let's see what this thing is. Yeah, that's uh not good. Defense 20. Uh, I'm gonna run away from that. It's also very narrow. Let's see what we got here. I am glad they do not have missile launchers. I guess a Cerberus? The Zorn! Okay, these are some very strong monsters. I'm going to take a peek at level 12. I don't think we're going to make any progress. Hmm. Oh, wait a sec. We need... Well, I'm guessing green key is a special key. I like the giant door. That's a nice touch. Okay, so let's see. I need a yellow key. Oh, there's a yellow key right there. Then I get the yellow key, and then I need another green key. Oh, there's a lot of treasure. That's what those things are. Ironically, I saw the pound sign, and it, it seemed very scary. But now I realize it's just treasure. Oh, man, is it a goober? Please be a goober. Come on. Slime. Let's see. Uh, I don't. I don't like my odds here, but let's let's just fry some stuff with fire. There we go. Okay, the the things that are normally ZZT bears seem very focused on following me. I don't like that. Okay. Let's press our luck. Oh man, is this blood or lava? Either way, it ain't it ain't good. What else we got here? We need a lot of keys. I want to find the key spell very badly. Okay. So, there is a treasure over there. Yeah. There's also a shortcut. Yeah. Let's, uh... You know what? We got treasure. We got a shortcut. We got a quest to turn in. Let's just... 
go all out here. We got worms. I don't even know if that's gonna be enough to kill them. Okay. It is enough. Floor has been cleared out. Getting artifacts. What floor is this? Thirteen. Okay, so we've got a lot of quests we can do. We were on 13, so we've been to all the floors for all three of these quests. I don't have any spells, because I did burn them all. I'm just worried about how tight money's gonna get. I wanna see... if I can beat up that invisible stalker with just my sword. Also, the way respawning works, as explained last stream, is that it is basically random whenever you enter a room. So basically every time I pass dungeon level 9, there's a chance the sharks are going to reappear. Oh! I found the stalker! Stalker is very strong, and I'm not going to beat him without spells. I'm just gonna get my game over. Okay. I wanted to see if there was like a special message since we haven't actually died. If I go to at least two. Yes. Yeah, this is a lot of money. Okay. So. Burn the spell slots, or you can try a different quest and see. Oh, did I already take the quest? I guess I did. Alright, well. We're gonna go beat up a stalker. After we stay at the inn. And reassess our spells a bit. What else do we got? Slow. I keep thinking of this as a spell down here. I can't spend any money. So heal is not that good. It's only a hundred health. I didn't pay attention, but I mean, generally speaking, if I can't kill it by meleeing it, I just have to spam fire until it dies. So let's make sure we pick up fire. I don't want to save, I want... Honestly, I think fire is the only thing I really want. Let's take slow. Another level up, that's also good. Well, that's a big HP boost. Actually, let's take a look at that manual quick. We are at 350, so we're at level 7 out of 10. Hmm. And... 
slow is okay slow affects everything so that could be useful Man, not being able to open these doors is killing me. I have a feeling that you have to basically skip like every single door in order to get the open spell. Oh, yeah, it actually only tracks your golds when you're in the when you leave the dungeon. Since that's the only place you can use it anyway. This way it can use the gems counter. Well, now I can just wail on him. I keep forgetting that he was like invisible and I just start wandering through the level. Otherwise, I would have tried out slow here, but let's just finish him. Stalker killed. Get out of here. So one thing that I am not have not been doing is writing down all the attacks and defenses of monsters. I think that would actually be kind of a fun thing to do if I wasn't streaming this because I don't want to take the time to do that constantly. Oh yeah, I guess I will just become immune to sharks at some point. I mean, there's a very good chance that I'm going to end up just writing a list somewhere. This, ge this game needs a strategy guide, I can't believe it. Well, 13... What else is here? Okay. Just the exit. I do have a quest, but... Yeah. Okay, the sea of trees. Things are not as scary. Uh, well, I bet we can beat up a, th a level three snake. Yeah. I mean, we can. And fly traps. Attack 85. Oh man, I made the right call going for the snake. And defense of 60. I can't even hurt those things. Yeah, I definitely need an upgrade. I gotta do all those quests. I shouldn't be burning my spells here. I should be finishing. Okay. I'm going to do one more of this. Is it still alive? Okay. I just want to see. Are these just objects? Oh, yeah. I was kind of hoping the trees would be like a thing. I'm sure they probably are for a quest. Okay. So I'm going to try and save these last two. And see if I can do at least one more quest before resting again. That's not the quest place. Eight thousand gold. Let's go subjugate a Minotaur. Oh yeah, that's as when I was like casting fire on that floor, I'm like, hmm, I hope this doesn't make the trees mad. And 
very fortunate that it didn't. Get a good, we're gonna like double our money, so let's see if we can buy anything first. Oh, 1300. I want a better sword. 4000. Flame Blade. Safety save. Let's go on down. Oh man, all this time I thought I could go around the lake either way. I'm very glad I didn't, like, try backtracking and putting myself into a corner the first time through here. Now let's do the quest first, because we don't have the spell slots to burn. And all of these doors... I don't even care so much about the open spell, I want to just open some doors and get some more magic. Was this the Minotaur? I didn't pay attention. What floor was the Minotaur supposed to be on? I thought it was 12. I don't see... No, I think 13th was... Hang on. What's one look like? I think it was probably way too early of a save. Statue at the center of dungeon level 12. So I guess, yeah, I gotta kill the bears. I gotta... I need a new structure for my saves. We're at E. That's my new save file. There's a Minotaur. That's a lot of attack. Defense. Ah! Go away. Oh dear. Still alive. Cool, it just immediately respawned? That might be like a thing. I don't like that. Uh, let's, well, I'm not gonna kill the statue with zero spell slots. I guess I can try and find out how much health it has. Oh man, I gotta... Look at these advanced strats. Come on. Stay down there, please. Okay, I thought it was going to be like a living statue. Yeah, I keep forgetting about slow. That probably would be useful at this point. Uh, 
crud. Okay. Well. Bang. For a second I thought I was going to actually get some good rolls. Okay. So he's got a juke on by here. Later. Ugh. I should have went the other way for the shortcut to the surface. Please just follow me. Okay. Better. Better. Okay. Starting starting to see the justification of the town spell. Are these guys free XP? Panthers definitely are. I don't know if I can... Yeah, okay. Regular skeletons mean nothing to me now. Confused. I think that second Minotaur. Oh, okay, that would make sense. It's one of those Minotaur spawning statues. Alright. What are some overpriced spells? What do they cost? The town is kind of cheap. Kill. Well, let's kill. Ugh. Spell descriptions. Kill. Kill is good. I would like to kill spell. Stop. Stop is good. Oh, all this time I've been, like, expecting it to be a treasure. I just need a billion dollars. Man. Alright, let's... Let's rest before I accidentally screw myself over with how little money I have. Five spell slots, that's good. Oh, you can see how it does the money calculation too every time you're on the edge of the board. A thousand gold to rest. Some very pricey swords and shields. Probably nearing the end of equipment, I, I fear. Let's go subjugate that Minotaur. Let's see, our experience. So, 12,800. 
then 25,600. Yeah, experience is infinite, but money is not. It's going to be faster to go this way. Uh, I just want to peek. Oh no, we've been here. Observe the slow spell. That was that was good. That was much better. Okay. Quest complete. Once more. Pardon? Oh, okay. I've just never used a temporary spell before, so I had no idea what that sound was. I really love this spell system, though. Like, I'm just thinking now, like, oh man, maybe I should have been using slow for, like, the entire game instead of fire. Or maybe not. I don't know. I'd have to play this game a second time. Good job. Angel figurine. And 8,000 gold. So let's see. How much? How much was kill? So slows one me over. And kill sounds good. Uh oh. I can't do that quest until I can open a door. So... I have to find a key here, and I'm kind of locked into this. So... Now I'm worried. Was there a yellow key? Oh man, this thing just respawned. Oops. Let's see. Probably help me. I'm just gonna explore. Let's see how far down I can go. There's an artifact here that I never even noticed up top. Honestly, at this point, kill should probably be very powerful. Uh, 
Apparently not. Oh, kill isn't the whole floor. I just wasted that. Right. Never mind, I shouldn't have bought kill. I don't want kill anymore. Alright, new strategy. Run. Just run. Really fast. Game's broken, ruined forever. Ooh, this looks... Well, there's a yellow key, that's good. Okay. Cam... I'm definitely getting the yellow key. Can I get... A multi kill. If I take the hit here, I can. The Baize. Attack 80. That's not the worst thing in the world, but I mean, we've got the setup. That was nice. This thing is taking its time. Let's take a peek at the next floor. Forbidden Grove. The Last Leaf. Guessing those are monsters and not a bunch of artifacts. Yes, they are moving. There's, ooh, there's a split. There's a blue door and a regular passage. That's interesting. Okay, well, let's just... I, I doubt it's the shortcut because it doesn't connect. There's no, like, other floor. That here, of course. Tag 90. Oh, that's pretty low on defense. I can take this. Okay, let's go back to running away because I forgot that I left everything alive on this floor. Okay, that went well. Okay, yellow key. I... Oh yeah, that's like a thing I'm supposed to fight, isn't it? And not... Well, let's find out if it has 300 health or not. Oh, well there's the blue door. Or blue key for the blue door. And also... Nuke. Wall! I mean, I can guess what wall does, so what are the exact numbers? A safe boost by 40. 80 defense. That's more than double right now. Oh, that's right, it's just a statue. It's not a thing I have to beat up. It's very flashy. Quest complete, okay. Kind of want to get an idea of what we've been skipping over, locked doors and that stuff. I also kind of want to actually ex re-explore the first couple of floors. Can I kill him easily? Oh yeah. Yeah, that's... they're no longer scary. 
Lancer, how did you balance this? Because I do think it's well balanced, but it also sounds like it would have been a nightmare. How'd, where'd these numbers come from? Why does a skeleton have 35 defense? That's what I want to know. You did some good spitballing. There are a lot of doors that I have not been finding keys for. Oh hey, I can open this blue door and probably... I have no idea if I would break the game. There's a passage behind the other blue door, so there's no way I'm opening this one, but like... Also, yeah. But I mean... I want to know what's in the passage. That's way more interesting than any spell that isn't open. And open costs money anyway, so I'm not gonna luck my way into finding it. Okay, so there's like... Not a ton. There's more blue doors. It's like the game is trying to trick me into wasting my blue key. Oh, there is actually a limit? I can't just grind on snakes on the first floor until I max level. I don't think there's anything left on these first two floors, but... Yeah, I gotta know what's in that passage. I've still got a spell slot though, too. I should have used that on something. Let's turn in my quest. Collect my many monies. There's no more quests. Oh, there they are. Oh dang, what do we got? Control rod on level 20, no. Mystical Fruit on level 14, maybe. Dragon Subjugation on dungeon level 16. How much money was that? 30,000. That's a lot of money. I... Alright, let's go fruit picking. Risk it for the biscuit. Let's see if we can get away with doing this in one spell. Didn't that say 13? I mean, I assumed it was the forest floor, but I swore it said 13. Scary are these guys right now? Oh look, you can see the ZZT display bug where I have zero and one gem. Okay, these aren't too bad now. They have high defense though, wow. If I can... No, that ain't gonna work. Hello. That's good. Three, four more trees. That's a lot of trees. And three more enemies, and I don't really have the health. Yeah. Remember, 
on my spells. Oh, I have wall. That's right. I have the boost your defense by 80 button that I keep forgetting. Okay, I'm gonna just swoops around this guy. I hope. There we go. Okay, I should be able to get to this tree pretty safely. Okay, that was good. I'm... Does casting a spell... Yeah, I guess it would use a turn, so I would want to use it here if I was going to use... Wall. Let's risk it. Let's see. Oh no! <laughs> that was the worst possible timing. Run away. Alright, I got the fruit. I just gotta step very carefully here. There we go. We're safe. Now we're safe. We're very much here. Red door here. Maybe I can get some equipment, but man, I really want to buy the open spell. 65,000. I'm not even halfway there. <laughs> I know I need to go to the end. I'm going to the end. I'm looking at the prices. I wanted to look at the price, not buy that, but whatever. Yeah, that's why I really want to get the open spell, because I can see, like, so many artifacts and things. Well. 1200, that's not bad with what I got at this point. Do I level? Nope. That's the first time I haven't leveled in a while. I would, but I'd be able to show off the game. Oh, I do. Good. What is it? Six, it's like 65,000. It's a very big and stupid number. But I mean, look, right there, there'd be two artifacts. Those would probably, each one of those pretty much will pay for an in-cost, basically. I'm gonna be stupid and try and save up for that open spell. Also, is there a green door? I guess I should go in order and see if we can find anything green. 
Listen, it's gonna take some time. There's some investment involved. So we gotta get the open spell. One of these spells is nuke. You know, we're not we're not gonna get nuke if we don't get open. Unless we get lucky. Oh yeah, I'm definitely doing that. I mean, I'm still gonna use my keys. I wanna see if there's a green one anywhere. That one's not green. We probably can't. That was that one last one was green, yeah. Let's see if there's any more green. Just to be sure. Fourteen nothing. Just one horrible, horrible fly trap. Defense sixty. Uh, I'm just gonna sneak on by. Sneak on by. Alright. We haven't done anything with this floor. And there's... There's also something in the lower left corner that I didn't notice. Oh, that's an enemy. It's moving. Oh, that's the dragon. That's why I did not notice it, and why it's using the ZZT dragon character. Because that's what dragons look like. See, now I'm like, should I use a spell? Should I use slow? Should I just run? That wasn't a fake wall, so I couldn't walk. Okay, 85 versus 70. Yeah, but it's, it's, it's got way too high of a defense to be worth fighting that. I want to pass this thing on by. Please let me through. Alright, well, y'all get killed. Nice. Oh! Oh dear! <laughs> oh, wow, um... Was not expecting that. There were eels in the last stream that attacked with a like three tile long electric attack, and this thing is just breathing horrible fire. So let's approach with caution. One, two, one, two. Okay. Okay, it also has to be aligned. Oh, believe me, this is extremely impressive and scary, and I'm going to try and kite it around the corner so I can cast wall. And this other griffin is going to ruin my plans. Uh, let's see. Okay. This is going to be some very advanced strategies here. Yeah. Lure you 
I was gonna say by the blue door, but I also want to go that way. Oh. Sometimes that's just the way it is. Okay, if, if it goes down into that alcove, we're safe. I don't want to use kill on just one monster, especially when I have no idea what this dragon is capable of other than this extremely terrifying star attack. Oh, come on! I saved, right? Yes. Let's roll that RNG. Hey! Perfect! Ooh. Hmm. Okay. Well, he looks scary. Listen. This is the most frightening thing I've ever seen in ZZT. I wasn't even thinking about knockback from the breath. Dragon rends you. Let's see. Okay, 175 attack. It's not that scary. The thing can still hurt me through wall. I mean, I could stack wall if I really wanted to. Uh, can I actually stack wall? Does that reset the timer? How does that work? Oh, I cast that spell twice. I mean, when all else fails, can't stack it. Okay, so... And I'm... Absolutely certain it will survive a kill, at least one. Yeah. It should error you. Well, now we gotta do some beta testing. Mm, it's still is it. That's not an error, and also I have 150 defense now. Which is what I had before. Never mind. Ignore that. Oops. Aw, oh, man. Okay. We're back on track. Dragon killed. I'm a monster. Alright, that went nicely. Alright, let's see what's behind this mysterious passage. Here's the entrance to Yomi. Oh! Okay. So what's... It's not moving, but I'm still worried it's gonna kill me. Enigmatic artifact, ooh. And a key. Japanese underworld. I knew it sounded familiar. Okay, there's a purple door. There's a passage. There's lots of enemies, which I'm very safe from. still have one spell slot, but I don't have... Yeah, see, if I still had fire, that would actually be of use right here. Okay, yeah, two passages. So the game's going to start splitting up a little bit. Actually, I didn't even... Oh no, that's just the passage up. That's why I didn't notice there was a brown passage. That's where I'm going. 
So, ugh, yeah. Uh, okay, good. He cooperated. Lots of backtracking. If only I had some sort of spell to let me not do this. How dangerous are these things anymore? Oh, I've got 360 health, yeah. This is... There we go. Just getting out of my way. Okay, red door. Gives me another artifact and a key. Should I open that one? I already have an artifact now, but... Should I commit? Because there is another key. Yeah, I suppose the purple key will open the purple door. Let's see how much money I've got before I do anything. Because there's also a purple key... a purple... Oh, yeah, actually. Okay, and I can use that purple on that. And get more money. I want to get... I want to get that sweet, sweet open. Alright, kill the dragon. Give me money. 52,000. We're really close. This is like that control rod. I don't know if I should take that just yet, or if there's not going to be anything else that ends up appearing. Oh, also I got my artifact. That's probably going to be push me over the limit. Oh yes, a hundred thousand gold. Now we're getting somewhere. How much is... 196,000 for hero. I know that, I wanna... Hero is what? 80 for both stats. That's also very good. Man, I got money to spare with that. But I also still have some keys to begin with. But I mean, I guess it's spell slots. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing it. We're getting open. We're resetting our mind. Take an open. Kill. Uh, I don't know what this one is. Oh, wall. Yeah, that sounds good. Open, kill, and wall. Nope, never mind. I can't pick up more spells with the open spell. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna start opening some doors. Making some money. Actually. Opens every door on the floor. Well, I mean, right now I've got one free use of open. But that is, that's true, that is a... Yeah, it opens everything on the floor, so, I mean... I gotta use this in the Minotaur floor. So I think that one still had a couple. Ugh, water. I'm way too excited about this. Can't wait to get all these spells that I'm never going to use. Okay, so there is... basically nothing. This one's got a pair. Yeah, let's... Let's open. 
It'll give us two artifacts and two spells. And I'm going to collect all the loot, sell all the treasure, and then we're going to call it a night because it's been an hour and a half. I don't think there's a ton more of this, but I don't want this to be like a two plus hour stream. Unusual artifacts. Acid! I think, was acid better fire or better beam or worse? 200 to what's adjacent. So that was, yeah, that was worse kill. That's okay. My only regret is that I picked that one up first. But I guess this is the floor with a shortcut to town, so... Oh hey, that's a relevant hint. 800 gold. Yeah, I'll reset it. Don't worry. Lustrous. Life. That's, I assume, a better heal. That could be good, because heal isn't good at this point. Full health. Okay, yeah, that's good. Life is just straight up good. There's only one more level to gain, jeez. Alright, we're just gonna heal up and we'll do our shopping next time. Okay, we can get a sixth spell. I mean, the first thing I'm gonna want to do when I start the stream is like go through all the buildings and see what I've got and all that stuff because it's gonna be another week. So I'll do all my shopping then at the start of the next stream. Uh, hopefully, y'all have been enjoying this wild game, which is really starting to open up, if you know what I mean. Uh, ZZT oop cannot run code from an external file. It opens it up in like the help mode. So you just get... Uh, you don't get anything here. The actual ZZT help, but the editor help. So again, make a bunch of saves. Because I don't remember what anything is. And that's going to be it for this week. I'm assuming we're going to be able to finish it next week, because we're one level away from the maximum. So, thank you all for watching. We'll be back in one more week, and we'll conquer more minotaurs and dragons as needed. <laughs>